Welcome to another exciting episode of uh, Retail... What did I rename this again? Uh, Secondhand Scores, that's what it is. Stuff that I get from thrift stores and uh, discount racks and all that cool stuff and uh, places that I can't film because it's very hard to film. So, I have, uh, as per usual, a huge stack of VHS tapes. (laughs) Um, that I got at flea markets, uh, thrift stores, a couple I ordered off of eBay, um, but uh, mostly from thrift stores and all that. And uh, I do have some toys I'm going to show off that I found on discount, so uh, we'll start off with those. Um, So you guys remember uh, a while back I did that video on the uh, Jada Toys uh, Dungeons & Dragons figures, the, the... die cast uh uh nano metal fig figures well apparently there was one more set and i missed out well uh i didn't miss out on it because it was fairly recent so here's another set uh exclusive to gamestop so uh this i believe came out uh in alignment with the uh, dungeons and dragons movie the uh, honor among thieves movie uh, there was a whole bunch of D and D merch in the store, and uh, you know, I guess D and D was really milking their uh, their IP. Uh, I feel like they don't have to because it's Dungeons and Dragons, but you know, what do I know? But yeah, they put out another set of the uh, the Nano Metal Figs. Um, got it on clearance for fifteen ninety seven. The guy at the store said this was originally forty dollars. Yeah, um, yeah, this came out, uh, 2002, I believe, where's the date on, yeah, there it is, right there, 2002, or 2002, 2022, my god, my brain sometimes, um, yeah, this was not worth $40, uh, I dare even say it's not even worth, uh, $15, because it's just a re-release of the Red Dragon, and, um, repaints of the, uh, the two, uh, uh, the Beholder and the Ogre. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the Ogre Zombie. It's a different. It's different. I guess. What was? Uh, was the Ogre? Yeah. Uh, it has slashes on. Okay. It's slightly different. Uh, that doesn't make it worth forty dollars. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I'm not gonna open this because I plan to retire on it one day. It'll go in the box with the others. Um, also, it's not really worth opening because. Uh, it's just re-releases. It'll just go with the rest of the set. So, uh, this next two things that I have to show off come with a little bit of sadness because, uh, so I was at a five below store. Five below is, um, uh, they have, they sell a lot of things. They sell a lot of candy. Uh, it's very popular with the, the kids these days now, but, um, they have a lot of other merchandise and things you could buy for like $5 or less. I was in one recently I saw they had a whole bunch of Masters of the Universe Masterverse figures, and a bunch of them I didn't have. And uh, at the time, I couldn't pick them up, but uh, I was like, you know what? I know I know this one. I come by I come by it every once in a while. I will get them next time. I went. They were gone. Somebody scooped them all up. Oh man, sad. Uh, so yeah, uh, one of the things uh, Five Below does is they they have a lot of toys, and they're like. I guess overstock toys, uh, like a, like, uh, Ross and, uh, big lots and Ollie's and all those other stuff, man, that there are a lot of places that do that nowadays, huh? Maybe that says something about how much merchandise gets put out and there's not enough people to buy them. So I was there anyway. Um, but I was like, you know, I don't want to go home empty handed. So, uh, I bought these rainbow bright. <laughs> I didn't know that these existed. Uh, rainbow bright. Uh, the only show intended for girls I will ever admit to actually watching and liking. Yeah, we all had one. Don't act like we didn't have one. I'm sure each one of you had one, uh, you know, because growing up, I was like, I like Masters of the Universe and Thundercats and G.I. Joe. But secretly, I was like, you know what? That Rainbow Bright show is kind of cool, though. Uh, don't tell my friends. I'll get made fun of in school. And uh, Yeah, I'm sure everyone did. Uh, leave a comment and let me know if you had one. <laughs> I'm sure time to fess up boys. So tell me who you like. Um, but what, uh, what's interesting about these is, um, they were put out by loyal subjects and they're very on model with the characters, uh, loyal. So I've done loyal subjects figures before Uh, I've did masters of the universe, mega man, thundercats, uh, street fighter, probably other ones. I can't think of at the moment. They usually have a very distinct style with like a big head and very articulate body. But, uh, 
for yeah for rainbow bright they actually uh did her perfect <laughs> and her horse uh uh starlight and they also had all the other color kids there i didn't bother with them maybe i'll go back for them but uh why did i buy these i don't know uh i didn't want to go home empty-handed they were five bucks each and maybe i can use them for um decoration of the uh the set on the main channel they also had a uh, strawberry shortcake too so a uh, little tip to people that like those not me definitely not me don't tell my friends all right so that's it for the toys time to look at the vhs hall and there is a lot so we're probably going to go through these very quickly let's start with a couple that you've probably already seen if you watched my recent trip to the swap shop the uh the flea market outdoors highlander sealed even that was kind of a cool find uh although if you look very closely there's some uh, scuff marks on the uh the wrapper which will bring down its value and uh when i send this out to get graded it will go down a few points oh no i'm not going to do that by the way uh I, I think it is kind of just cool to have a sealed vhs tape i have i have a couple of them here and there but uh in fact do i, do I have any more coming up i don't remember well i, I do kind of have one but uh, we'll we'll get to that uh yeah highlander great movie um watch the first one ignore everything else <laughs> <laughs> the, this is a franchise that they really want the tv show is probably passable uh the cartoon is fine if you just ignore the fact that it says highlander uh but yeah everything else just just uh, just just move on watch the first one it's fine it has a good ending uh we don't need it anymore all right so i'm gonna try and maybe do a th triple stack unprecedented triple stack vhs uh also i got at the swap shop it the uh, the two tape collection um, when I collect VH, I, I do collect VHS tapes now, which by the way is a pretty cheap hobby. If you want to get into it, you go, you know where to go. You can get tapes for like real cheap. Um, yeah, uh, it, uh, well, when I do search for VHS tapes, uh, one of the things that's highly sought after among, amongst collectors is horror. If you find horror tapes, that's some good stuff right there. Uh, and I have a couple that I found, but I so rarely find them. I guess maybe, you know, collectors go after them or, uh, I don't know. They're just rare in general. They don't, they're not worth a, a ton of money, but, uh, you know, they're, they're cool to have. There's just something about uh, horror VHS that just hits different, but yeah, this is, uh, it, which was a TV, uh, so, uh excuse me. Sorry, Tim Curry. Yeah. Tim Curry was Pennywise in this one. Uh, it was a TV series. Well, not TV series. It was TV, a couple of TV movies, which is why it comes in a two tape collection here. But uh, yeah, really cool. And uh, the other horror tape that I found uh, was The Exorcist, the uh, special edition uh, Warner Brothers 75th anniversary version. Wow, that's uh, the 25th anniversary of the movie. So this is in a uh, plastic case. Still with most of the wrapper on it. Um, I, uh, I find it funny. This was originally at Publix for uh, $15.99. Publix, the uh, grocery chain here in South Florida. Well, it's, a, it's, in, it's all over Florida. And I think it's in some other states too. But uh, yeah, if there's anything to defend about living in Florida, it's the, uh, the sandwiches, I guess. <laughs> and the cookies from the deli. Very good. Um, yeah, surprisingly, it has most of its wrapper still intact. Can I... I might actually just, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and unwrap this because there's really no reason for this wrapper to be on here. There we go. Pristine condition. Let's have a look at the tape. Oh, inserts. Oh, boy, inserts. I love inserts. Is this a, uh, ooh, what is this? Uh, it's all bent. The Exorcist, uh, whatever that was. And, um, ooh, <gasps> special offers. Oh, my God. Get a free video. How to get a free video from Warner, uh, Warner Home Video. Oh, my God. What kind of stuff do we get? Popcorn? Uh, show me the videos. Oh, we got... Oh, God. It's Batman. <laughs> it's Batman and Robin. <laughs> it's uh, mad, even. Batman and Robin. Wow, that's that's incredible. Oh, man. I always love finding these with VHS tapes. They're, they're a fun little time... Okay, here we go. The Wizard of Oz. Uh, the Wizard of Oz. Um... Zabriskie Point. I don't know what that is. Um, 2001 Space Odyssey, Casablanca, Poltergeist, and uh, Dr. Javago. Ooh. And save $5 at Six Flags. Oh, my God. See, this is why you open up your tapes, man. Um, 
TNT celebrates the new classics. Uh, future can be yours. Oh, we got uh, albums too. Wow. I wonder what year this came out. 70, what, 75 years of Warner Brothers. They just had their 100th anniversary. I mean, I can just check on the tape. Hold on. Uh, or I can check on here. 1998. This is from. Wow. And uh, here's the tape in that uh, beautiful clamshell. Never been viewed. Been been sealed away forever in its Publix wrapper. <laughs> Put these in there. So, uh, they're all bent, though. Eh, get in there. There we go. The Exorcist. I'll discard that later. Uh, here's another sealed one I have. I, I guess I did have another sealed one. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, original, with John Barrymore, Martha Mansfield, and Brandon Hurst from uh, Hollywood Gold. What year was this movie uh, that was uh, originally... $4.99. Uh, this looks like a Suncoast sticker. Um, this was put out in 96. What year was this movie? It's probably underneath the sticker. Hold on. Try to peel that off. Oh, no. The wrapper's coming out. Oh, no. The wrapper. I don't think there's going to be anything under there anyway. Um, but yeah. Original Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Classic black and white monster movie. I mean, how could you, how could you go wrong with that? I do have the uh, Dracula, the Bela Lugosi Dracula that I found. All right, so those are the ones you've seen already. If you watch my other video, here's one you haven't seen. Cape Fear. <laughs> I don't think I've actually watched this movie. Uh, Robert De Niro, Nick Nolte, uh, Jessica Lange. I only know this movie from Reputation. Because <laughs> The Simpsons had a, a great episode with Sideshow Bob where they parodied this. Uh, I think they referenced it in Rick and Morty too. But yeah, for Cape Fear... Is a, it's more of a thriller than a horror movie. Cape Fear is as, as exciting as movies get from jo, from Joe Siegel from Good Morning America. Nice, uh, very good condition. This one's in. Look how look how good that looks. And uh, there's the tape. Very nice, man. It's fun finding tapes where uh, people have actually like taken care of them and uh, have kept them in good condition. I like this one. Looky looky, it's hooky. Um, hook with Robin Williams and um, uh, Bob. Oh yeah, Bob Hoskins was in that too. Dustin Hoffman. Yeah, Bob Hoskins was this guy. He was uh, Smee, I think. And um, Julia Roberts was Tinkerbell. Um, so uh, this movie seems to be very divisive for people. You either like it or you don't. Uh, I am firmly in the like category, um, but it, I kind of see why people wouldn't like it. It's a it's a lot of fun movie though. I mean, it's got Robin Williams in it got dustin hoffman doing a great performance uh it introduced the world to rufio dante bosco uh, i don't remember if this was like his breakout role or for his first role or whatever but uh he did go on to do a lot of other stuff too so yeah uh hook very cool we're not gonna spend a lot of time on some of these tapes because there's so many of them uh so i got some classic stuff too we already looked at dr jekyll and mr hyde here's metropolis I have actually seen this movie uh, quite some time ago. Metropolis, uh, great si silent film, uh, very early science fiction movie. Not the first, I don't think, um, but uh, definitely a very important one. Um, uh, funny thing about this movie, I think the messages in it still hold up to this day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's the um, most people remember the, uh, the the robot False Maria, who is a the uh, robot disguised as a human. And uh, kind of fooled everybody. Uh, yeah, did not expect to find Metropolis. Somebody had a, a good collection of some classic films that I uh, promptly uh, promptly hoarded for myself. Here is It's a Wonderful Life, the blockbuster classics collection. Wow, that's cool. That's a, that's kind of a cool thing to have. Um, it's a Wonderful Life, not my go-to Christmas movie, but it is a very good one. Uh, it's very uh, you know very iconic, very important. Uh, I do. I pretty much just picked this one up because it says the blockbuster classics on it. Uh, having blockbuster tapes is kind of a kind of a cool thing, but uh, yeah, not much else to say about it. I think everybody knows about it. It's a Wonderful Life. Again, blockbuster classic. Couldn't resist. Platoon with uh, Charlie Sheen and uh, William Defoe, I believe. Yeah, there he is, right there, William Defoe. Um, I don't think I've ever seen this movie. <laughs> Same with Cape Fear. Uh, there's a lot of movies I just haven't seen. But uh, it is a very uh, iconic one. The first casualty of war is Innocence. Oh, man. And there's the iconic, uh, 
image of uh, Charlie Sheen. That is Charlie Sheen doing that, right? I don't know. Again, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll watch it one day now that I have it on VHS. Unbreakable. The uh, one of the rare dubs for M Night Shyamalan. Um, this was one of his first, I think. I don't remember if this movie or Sixth Sense came first, but uh, yeah, Unbreakable, very good movie. It's uh, Bruce Willis, Samuel Jackson. He's like a, he's like a. It's a world where like everyone's a superhero and, and things are kind of determined whether or not you're a villain. Or I, I don't remember too much about this one. Um, exclusive bonus. A video bonus edition what's the bonus Ooh, what do you get i don't know uh yeah m night Shyamalan. it's one of the few movies of his that's not a, a joke <laughs> that didn't become a joke uh they uh brought this back um what was that movie split with um uh mcavoy was it mcavoy uh or who who was in that movie i don't remember i've seen it i just don't remember uh, but then that movie tied into this movie, and then they made a sequel to this movie, and he tried to build a whole universe around it. I don't remember if it went well. Um, Split was a, a pretty good movie, though, I'll, I'll admit. It, it has a few interesting, jokeable moments, but when they when they eventually tied it in with uh, Unbreakable, I think it made a little bit more sense. Uh, moving on, I have Mission Impossible, also with uh, a protective wrapper. This was a blockbuster movie, also. As you can tell by the uh, sticker. Um, you know, I don't think I've seen the first Mystery Impossible. I've seen the third one, I think. The one uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman was in. So I, I missed the, the first two. Um, I heard the first one was good. I, I heard the second one wasn't that good. But uh, yeah, uh, maybe I'll watch it one day. <laughs> Previously owned for $9.99. That is not what I paid for this. So you play the long game. And you... You get to reap the rewards. Cable Guy with Jim Carrey uh, and Matthew Broderick. This movie's good. Uh, it unfortunately, I if I recall correctly, was not advertised well because it had Jim Carrey in it. And, you know, previous Jim Carrey movies was like Ace Ventura and The Mask and Dumb and Dumber. And he was the Riddler and uh, Batman and Robin. Um or Batman Forever, rather. Uh, and, you know, he was like a comedy actor, and people loved him. And I think this was the first time he tried it. And while he was, you know, funny in this movie also, uh, that's not... This movie is not a comedy. <laughs> and I remember the trailer for this movie, like, playing it up like it is a comedy. And uh, it's not, it's more of a dark comedy. It, it's, it's amusing in a lot of points, and mostly because of Jim Carrey's performance. But, um, yeah, the movie's about, like... Uh, oh, it's another blockbuster movie. Wow, look at that. <laughs> I'm I'm gathering all the remnants of the South Florida blockbusters in my house. Damn. Uh, the movie was about uh, Matthew Broderick calls to have his cable hooked up, and uh, he sh uh, Jim Carrey's character shows up, and uh, he starts stalking him or something, or, or like tries to get involved in his life and stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, it's not not a uh, not a comedy. Again, Jim Carrey is great in this. Um, there are some genuinely funny moments, but, uh, it's, it's meant to be taken seriously. I think a lot of people misinterpreted this movie and I think that's why it's not really talked about that much. And, uh, the last tape I have here before we get on to the, uh, the, the cartoons is another VHS head cleaner <laughs> or video head cleaner. This one is sealed brand new. So likely this is very easy to use or, or very good to use Uh disc washer. Uh, I found a uh, blockbuster one not too long ago, and I think that was kind of a cool thing just to just to have. I don't know. Uh, it seemed like it got a lot of uses though, so I don't know if that one is still any good. But I have like a brand new one now in case I ever have to clean my VCR. I'll put that aside because this is this is the movie zone. That's a uh, utility item. You go over here with Rainbow Bright. All right, so now we will go through the big stack of cartoon VHS tapes I have. I don't remember where I got some of these. Again, some came from eBay, some came from stores, some came from thrift stores, um, flea markets, probably. I don't. I genuinely don't remember. Uh, so first up, I have The Forgotten Toys. We were just talking about Bob Hoskins, <laughs> and I have another one with him. This is a adorable movie about um, these toys that were, like, discarded, and uh, they were, like, going through the city on Christmas, I think. 
Um, man, that is a, just a heartbreaking thought. But Bob Hoskins plays the uh, the teddy bear, and uh, he is great in this movie. Bob Hoskins was always well. I don't want to say underrated actor. He was a great actor, but my God, he can just he could do anything. A uh, fun fact: for the longest time, I I didn't remember. I I didn't know he was British. <laughs> Because growing up, he was Eddie Valiant from Who Framed Roger Rabbit and Mario from the Super Mario Brothers movie. And I just like, and one day, you know, he always played that really gruff voice, you know, that real New Yorker voice or whatever. Um, but then like one day I heard him speak in Brit- in his British accent. I was like, whoa, 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 <laughs> jeez. Uh, yeah, very uh, below. Uh, I don't know if it's a beloved. Nobody really talks about it that much, but uh, very, very good movie. Uh, then I have the little drummer boy. The um, I believe this is the uh, Rankin Bass one. I, I have uh, F. Frosty the Snowman and Rudolph. I think in the same type of VHS sleeve. So I bet they were they're all part of a set. I wonder if they all came from the same person. Huh. Uh, but yeah, little drummer boy from uh, I th- I'm pretty sure that's the Rankin Bass version. Uh, then I have speaking of which, uh, some a little more contemporary because <laughs> Easter is coming up. Uh, Peter Cottontail, or here comes Peter Cottontail. Uh, I believe this is also the um, the Rankin Bass one. A lot of people forget that Rankin Bass did other holidays, not just um, not just Christmas. They'd have Easter, they had uh, Halloween. I think they did a St. Patrick's Day one. I don't remember though. But yeah, uh, Peter Cottontail. Look for that on my uh, Instagram when Easter comes around. Also, this. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Turtles Awesome Easter. Wow, I can't believe this exists. Uh, I have quite a few Ninja Turtles tapes from my childhood. Uh, I would love to find them uh, in the wild more, but uh, they're very difficult to find. Uh, still haven't found the sleeve for that uh, Mighty Super Rocksteady and Mighty Bebop tape, if anybody uh, remembers why I talked about that. Um, but yeah, they had an Easter special with this Easter car- Easter Bunny guy. Uh, I don't remember this episode in particular, <laughs> but it's kind of a, a fun thing to have. I pretty much just got this so I can post it to my Instagram on Easter. So there. Uh, next up, we have some clamshells. All dogs go to heaven, the clamshell version. Yes. I uh, I have the uh, slipcover version. That, that one's from my childhood. This one I picked up, I picked up recently. Excuse me. Um, my mouth is getting dry, I think. Um, but yeah, it's the clamshell of all dogs go to heaven. Great movie. Um, loved it as a child, scared the hell out of me, unfortunately, because there was the scene where Charlie goes to hell and was being attacked by demons. And that scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. (laughs) I almost didn't want to watch it again, but, uh, looking at, looking back at it, it's kind of silly. Uh, then we have Doug's first movie. Man, it is weird for me seeing Disney above Doug. I know that Disney acquired Doug from Nickelodeon. I don't remember what the whole story behind it was, but uh, yeah. Um, was never a big fan of Doug. Um, I liked Ren and Stimpy more. Um, and then Disney bought it and then made it worse. <laughs> uh, but I, it is my goal to collect all of the animated uh, Disney vhs tapes and the clamshells and this is one of them so it had to go in the collection unfortunately yeah doug uh the the disney run of doug was not good from what i remember or from what i've heard i didn't watch a whole lot of it but uh yeah they definitely took a lot of the um a lot of the magic or what little magic there was (laughs) i don't know what i'm saying it was it was it's inferior that's all you need to know uh speaking of disney i have more of these uh sing-along songs tapes I uh, have started collecting these, I guess. Uh, these have been preserved on YouTube, though. I mentioned in the previous video that um, I remembered one from uh, having one as a kid, and there was a song on it that I really, really liked when I was young, and I found out what it was. Somebody mentioned it in the previous video, but I actually uh, ended up looking it up myself, and that's how I found out these were um, preserved on YouTube. Uh, the song was called The Ugly Bug Ball, from a movie called Summer Magic, some like old movie that's that nobody cares about anymore. But I, I it was on the um, Bare Necessities one, the Jungle Book one, so I have to look out for that one when uh, when I can. Uh, but yeah, if you wanna if you want a little a view a little piece of Rob's childhood, go look up the Ugly Bug Ball on uh, YouTube. It's on YouTube, you can check it out easily. Uh, and I watched that, and I was like, wow, that was a memory unlocked. 
I love I loved that song when I was little. All right, so they're the uh, they're the yeah, we're not gonna spend a lot of time on those. There's those. Uh, I also found the Berenstain Bears. Bears mind their manners. I used to love the Berenstain Bears when I was a kid. I have um I have the Strangers tape, I think, uh, over on the shelf there. Uh, yeah, Berenstain Bears uh, book series that uh, animated series. Uh, it is and always has been Baron Stain. It's Baron Stain. It's always been Baron Stain. But Rob, that means you're from this dimension. No, no, you misremembered it. It's Baron Stain. It always has been Baron Stain. Ugh. Anyway, uh, I actually do remember distinctly calling it Baron Baron Stein as a kid. And then uh, one day I looked at my like took a close look at my book and I, it said Baron Stain. And I'm like, oh. Okay, I guess I had it wrong. See, it's not that difficult, guys. Jeez. Ugh. Every time I get something with Baron Stain on it, I have to point that out. Uh, the Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. I got two of these. Uh, I have another one of these tapes on the shelf. So uh, it's cool finding uh, additional pieces of a bigger set. Uh, I loved Rocky and Bullwinkle. Um, they aired reruns on Nickelodeon in the 90s. So uh, it was kind of cool getting introduced to them, to uh, in introducing them to a whole new audience. Uh, that reboot they did of them kind of sucks, but uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle was more like a pretty harmless, non, nothing big show, but uh, it was it was all right. It's fun to watch. Uh, also, I found Dink the Little Dinosaur. This is kind of a rarity. Dink the Little Dinosaur was a Saturday morning cartoon, I think, put out by Ruby Spears, I want to say. Uh, it was about, like, these dinosaur friends that were n- definitely not a ripoff of the land before time. I, I think it's still, it- it's kind of um, up in the air if this actually ripped off land before time or not. But uh, I-, I do remember watching this. Um, Peter Cullen was in this. I think he played an elderly turtle or something. And uh, Frank Welker, I remember hearing his voice. But yeah, it's just like, you know, Saturday morning cartoon, dinosaurs. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Uh, oh yeah, Hanna-Barbera. So this must have been um, Ruby Spears because they, uh, they acquired them at some point. Uh, and finally, we're gonna, I'm going to show all these at once. Uh, speaking of uh, why did I buy this, um, Filmation's Ghostbusters. <laughs> Five of them. My God. Uh, Filmation's Ghostbusters. So, uh, not a good show. It came, it existed before the Ghostbusters we all know and love because it was a, it was a TV show in the 70s, a live action TV show, and it was supposed to be a comedy, but it wasn't very funny. And um, then uh, when Ghostbusters, the, the Ghostbusters we know came out, they acquired the name. And then uh, they put out the then Filmation put out the cartoon of Ghostbusters, and then Ghostbusters put out the real Ghostbusters as a power move. Um, you know, it is amazing how much of Ghostbusters has been stolen. Like the theme song, look up the the history of the Ghostbusters theme song. My God, and yet um, it turned into the superior product. I, I really don't know what to make of that. Uh, the point is, this show sucks. <laughs> the Ghostbusters we got is better. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know if there's a place in the world for this version of Ghostbusters anymore. I would. I wouldn't mind like a like IDW doing some kind of crossover comic with these. Uh, that would be kind of interesting to do. Maybe like a you know go to the the dimension where the, these Ghostbusters exist, and then the real Ghostbusters will like show them how to bust ghosts properly without their non-violent uh, weapons that shoot gum. Yeah, they had a gum shooter. One of the, one of their. Uh, I don't, they, none of them are holding it, but it was like a device that shoots gum and like gets the ghosts, the ghosts sticky. Okay. I can rant on and on about this show, but, uh, the point is I have a bunch of the tapes and, uh, maybe I'll post them on the Instagram sometime, uh, around Halloween time. I think that's appropriate. Uh, so yeah, there's my wall of VHS tapes that I have now. <laughs> um, Look for look at my Instagram. I've, I've been posting the collection. Link should be in the description below. Uh, yeah, that's my haul, and I think this video has gone on long enough. So uh, thanks for watching, and I can put all these away, and uh, I'll see you in the next haul video, whenever that might be. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, um, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. 
check out my other videos and uh, be sure to let me know in the comment section uh, which girl show you secretly loved as a kid. <laughs> and uh, check out my Instagram too. I have my entire, I'm posting my entire collection on my Instagram. So uh, look for that. Uh, be sure to check that out. Anyway, I'm tired and I got to put all this away now. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, I will see you guys later.